In this video, we'll continue looking at the first order ODEs. From the previous video, we talked about why prime plus pxy equals to rx is the most common form for the first order ODE. In the last video, we set rx to be zero. In this video, we'll set rx to be non-zero. Since rx is not equal to zero, we call this non-homogeneous first-order ODE. Let's write down the non-homogeneous first-order ODE again. Y prime plus PXY equals to RX. The aim is to write Y as a function of X. We can rewrite Y prime as DY over DX. For simplification, we'll write PX as P and RX as R. The new format is dy over dx plus py is equal to r, where p and r are also functions of x. Then multiply dx on both sides of the equation, we'll get dy plus py dx equals to r dx. Rearrange this equation, we'll have py minus r multiplied by dx plus dy is equal to zero. Starting from here, we need to take a guess. We will set p as 1 over f. If you recall from the previous video, we had 1 over y term. Therefore, by integrating the equation on both sides, we were able to get a log. Here, we are taking an educated guess. By purposely introducing 1 over f into this equation, if we integrate 1 over f df, it will be equal to integrating p dx. And now we can write log f equals to integrate p dx. Do exponential on both sides of this equation. We will have f is equal to exponential, then integrate p dx plus a constant c. Coming back to the original equation, and multiply f on both sides of the original equation. We will have f multiplied by y prime plus py equals to f multiplied by r. From the writing in green, we can replace f as e to the power of integrate p dx. Let's not worry about the constant for now. The new expression can be written as follows. Let's pause a little bit and look at this expression. Does this remind you of something? If we differentiate the product of ux and vx, two equations, it is equal to the sum of u prime x vx plus ux v prime x. Let's look at the above expression. The entire expression on the left hand side can be written down as e to the power integrate p dx multiply by y, then this entire term prime. We keep everything on the right hand side the same, e to the power of integrate p dx multiply by r. Now integrate both sides of this equation. The left hand side will just take off the prime sign, and on the right hand side it will be integrate e to the power integrate p dx multiply by r than dx. Do not forget to plus a constant here. The term integrate p dx looks pretty messy, so let's set this as h. Then the whole expression can be rewritten as e to the power of h multiplied by y is equal to integrate e to the power of h multiplied by r dx plus c. Divide e to the power of h on both sides of the equation, you will have this. Expand the expression on the right, you will have the final solution having y as a function of h, and h is a function of x, and you have y as a function of x. The solution for the first order ODE looks pretty complicated, but it's very useful. Let's write down the solution again and think more about what it means. Again here, h is a function of x. In any equations we deal with, y can be viewed as the output. 
the first part of the expression on the right hand side tells us the response to the input. It can be viewed as input multiplied by an operator. The second term is a constant multiplied by e to the power of minus h, so it can be viewed as response to the initial value. Let's look at an example with some real numbers in it. We have this very simple format y prime minus y is equal to e to the power of 2x. We want to write y as a function of x. We know the most general form for the first order ODE is y prime plus pxy equals to rx. In this example specifically, px is equal to minus 1 and rx is equal to e to the power of 2x. And here is the solution for the generic first order ODE, which is derived. Looking at h first, h is equal to integrate p dx, p is minus 1, so integrate minus 1 dx is simply minus x. Substitute h into the solution equation, we'll have this. Simplify the expression. Integrating exponential x is simply exponential x. Do not forget we need to plus another constant here after integration. Now we have two constants as a result of doing integration twice. So we have c1 and c2. Combining c1 and c2 as a new constant called c, we have our final expression y is equal to e to the power of 2x plus c multiplied by e to the power of x. In the titles of this video and the previous video, you may notice we also wrote down something like Bernoulli equation. Bernoulli equation is actually an even more general form compared to the example we discussed today. It can be written down as y prime plus pxy is equal to gx y to the power of a. What we looked at in this and the previous videos are special cases where y is either equal to 0 or equal to 1. In the next video, we'll go into a higher order. We'll start looking at the second order ODEs.